Hi, my name is Greg Harley and today I'm going to introduce you to a terrific tool called the Flowable Initializer. Now Flowable Initializer will create a complete Flowable Work build environment that allows you to kickstart your application development. So let's get started. The first thing we need to do is make sure that we have a build environment set up so that we can access the Flowable Artifactory um, uh, repository. So let's go to the documentation. We'll go into Developing, Backend, Developer's Guide, Java Programming Extensions. Here we have a video as well as detailed instructions on how to access the Artifactory. Once that's done, <clears throat> we can go directly to the Flowable Initializer website at start.flowable.com or start.flowable.io. <clears throat> anyone who is familiar with the Spring Initializer should recognize this as it is based on the same design. We're going to create a Maven project using the language Java. We have two releases we can choose from. We're going to go with the latest release. We're packaging this one as a jar, although it could be a war, and I'm using Java 11. Next, we'll set up our group which will be com.flowable. Um, our artifact will be how to, and we'll change the description to how to project for flowable. Next, we need to select our dependencies. In this case, I'm going to build a development work environment. And so I'll be using the H2 database and I'll be disabling Elasticsearch. So first I need to get the work dependency. I'll need a front end, so I'll use front end. I'm not going to use engage or the demo, but I will certainly need inspect. I'll be using the standard uh, security policies, so we'll leave that. And I will need the H2 database, and I will look at the actuators as well. Um, uh, since I'm dis disabling Elasticsearch, I won't need these monitoring dependencies. So that's my project. Let's generate it. That will download it to the downloads folder as a zip file. We'll now explode that into my development environment or the folder where I'd like to put my development environment, uh, which I've already done. And so we'll open that up. Um, to my how-to project. If we look at the details, we've got a standard Mo uh, Maven project set up. So let's open up in my IDE. <clears throat> Here we can explore the contents of the application. Um, we have our POM file, which includes everything we've just set up with our how-to uh, details um, and our version. A Java version, as well as all of the dependencies that we care about here. All right, next, <clears throat> we'll have a look at the application itself. Um, we have the basic how-to application, which is a standard Spring Boot application. And we have some security files for our configuration. We also have resources. Um, we have filters for our contact filters. We have our tenant setup file, and we have our user definitions. Finally, we have our application properties, which we're gonna make a few changes to. The first modification is I'll set up the server port to 8090. Next, I'm going to disable Elasticsearch, but I'm going to enable the inspect capability. I'm also going to disable the uh, management metrics that get saved into Elasticsearch. Mainly because we don't have Elasticsearch. So management metrics, export Elastic enabled is false, great. All right, so now we will start up our application using Spring Boot Run. Yep, 
the application should build <clears throat> and then start up. Uh, it's starting. Set up the license. It'll be building our database tables now. <clears throat> and finally, we'll get the message that it's started up. Okay, so we have started. So the next thing to do is go to the work application. So we'll open up our browser again, go back to the local host 8090. And as we see, we have a running work application. We'll log in with admin and test, the default user and password. And here we see a running work application <clears throat> with all of the features we, we would expect. Okay, so the next thing we would do is set up a Docker container for our uh, flowable design and our flowable control to be able to work with the flowable work application that we've just built. This is described in another video, um, so look for that video in our how to's. That ends this current how to. I hope it was worthwhile and look for new videos in this channel. Thank you and bye for now.